for it to be meaningful, it must be an all of society coalition bringing politicians, those in government, those in the opposition, civil society, non-governmental organizations into one space that then can figure out what is the future that befits all of us. That is why our commitment to establishing a platform of engagement, bringing together micro, small, and medium enterprise and large business owners, civil society organizations, faith-based groups, youth, women, and others to address the nation's cohesion and inequality challenges is very central. Further, in recognition of the indispensable capacity of civil society sector in promoting education and awareness, inclusion, participation, and mobilizing collective action, we committed to operationalizing the Public Benefits Organizations Act. I, I made that commitment, and maybe civil society have been wondering what's happening. This act st stuck in limbo for over a decade, yet it aims to expand the space for government and non-governmental organization partnership and collaboration. I am proud to announce to you that we have every intention of living up to our commitment. That is why yesterday we executed the legal instruments to give the BPO Act effect as law in Kenya. There's been a debate in Kenya as to what do we do with our public um, uh, 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 benefit organizations in Kenya otherwise called non-governmental organizations. And there's been a robust and big debate as to what parameters do we apply. I see and I am persuaded that civil society has a real chance of making a contribution to making our country better. We may not we may not necessarily agree, but that is the beauty of having diverse opinions. We end up with a better result if we, have, if we harness all the viewpoints and finally come to a conclusion when we have considered all our diverse ideas, suggestions, and recommendations. The new BPO Act that was enacted almost 15 years ago, but we operationalized it yesterday. The NGO Act put through our civil society a very chaotic mechanism where they had almost eight pieces of legislation that governed their operation. We have now consolidated the operations of civil society into one predictable legal regime. They now can understand how registration will happen, how they can conduct their business. Secondly, and most importantly, we have made it now possible for public benefit organizations from outside Kenya not to be taken through unnecessary, rigorous explanations before they start operations in Kenya.